Good morning, Panthers. Today is Monday, September 21st, 2020. Please join me for a few moments of morning prayer and reflection. Today is the feast day of St. Matthew, one of the 12 apostles. St. Matthew was a tax collector before he met Jesus. In Jesus' time, a tax collector was not considered a good person. St. Matthew, however, left his old life behind and chose to follow Jesus. Today's reading is from the first book of the Bible, Genesis. There are two creation stories in Genesis. This week, we will hear the second story. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. These are the generations of the heavens and the earth when they were created. In the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens, when no plant of the field was yet in the earth, then no herb of the field had yet sprung up. For the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was no one to till the ground. But a stream would rise from the earth and water the whole face of the ground. Then the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living being. The word of the Lord. Think about this silently in your heart. How can we help care for this earth that God has made? God of all creation, help us to be stewards of this earth, of the seas, and of all your creatures. We praise you for your beautiful work. May we be mindful of the care of your creation. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please join me in reciting our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Panthers, today, um, or this week, we continue with our monthly seat theme of the virtue of leadership, and this week we're going to focus on integrity. Integrity is the strength to be consistent between your values and your actions. I'm going to repeat that. Integrity is the strength to be consistent between your values and your actions. There is the common phrase, practice what you preach. That sums up integrity very well. It's easy to talk the talk, or say you believe in something, but then act completely differently. Just like it's easy to say all in and yet give a half-hearted effort. So this week, let's focus on, on living integrity in each and every one of us. We have no birthdays to announce today, so a happy unbirthday to everyone. Uh, special holidays today. It is an International Day of Peace and also World Gratitude Day, which ties in nicely to our reading this morning. Um, gratitude for God's creation and being good stewards as such. So on World Gratitude Day, let's all make sure that we reach out and say a thank you or express gratitude to someone who's done something special for us or who we are just grateful to have in our lives. I believe that's all the announcements we have today. Before we sign off, please join me in reciting our St. Anthony Faith Pledge. We, the students and faculty of St. Anthony de Padua Catholic School, vow to be Christ's light for the world. May our eyes see Christ in one another. May our mouths speak words of love and kindness. May our ears listen for ways to serve. May our hands reach out to help. May our feet walk closely with Jesus so that we may live in his light. Jesus, light for our world, shine in us and through us. Have a great day, Panthers, and St. Anthony de Padua. Pray for us.